Congolese nationals filing to get into the National Voters Registry, the Electoral Commission says it has registered over 90% compliance in most parts of the country. That, excluding the Kasai province, where hundreds of thousands have been killed in what the UN says amounts to ethnic cleansing. So registration in that part of the country will be extended for an unknown period, even though close to a million people have taken refuge in neighboring Angola. Delayed elections have been the source of unrest here. The incumbent president, Joseph Kabila, has already shot past his constitutional two terms in office, and the opposition worries he could meddle with term limits to extend his time in office. So they have been calling for dead city protests that have left many cities deserted for days. The idea is pressure Kabila's government to organize elections by the end of the year. We're all aware that President Kabila's constitutionally mandated term in office has expired. That is the reason the Congolese people are agitating for a change of government. We voted for President Kabila to serve for two five-year terms, and now time for him to go. The Electoral Commission says voter registration will end in a matter of weeks. But the exercise will go on in the central province of Kasai, where hundreds of people were massacred. The commission had said it would release the election roadmap within this month, but uncertainty still lurks on whether an early election will be feasible. The Electoral Commission says it will release the election's roadmap within August, but that roadmap cannot be implemented unless some $1.8 billion to conduct elections is released by the government. The government has to provide the commission with the money it requires. We need about $226 million to conduct the presidential, parliamentary and provincial polls on the same day. The government has to give us a guarantee that it will provide the money. Without it, we won't be able to hold the elections. We can't perform magic. DRC's mineral dependent economy has been battered for years by the continued fall in the price of its main export, copper. And that's making things uncertain for millions who have registered to vote in an election that would see the first peaceful political transition in this country. Chris Sochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.